Hi, my name is Ashton Keefe and I am here with Wendy Vineyards and we are making one of my all-time favorite dishes for fall, my one pan chicken thighs with grapes and olives. So to get started, what I've done is obviously open my Wendy River Ranch Chardonnay. This is what we're gonna be not only using in the dish, but we're gonna be drinking and pairing it with our, our meal. So I'll talk about that more later. But to get started, I preheated my oven to 375 degrees, and then I'm gonna turn um, my heat below my oven safe pan to about medium, medium high heat. And then I'll put just a glug of olive oil in the bottom of my pan. Use whatever you have. And then I have chicken thighs, um, and I love chicken thighs because they retain their moisture more, so you're gonna have like a really succulent and juicy chicken experience for your dinner. Um, but also because they're a little less expensive and you get more bang for your box. So I'm gonna take some salt and I'm gonna season the top of my chicken. And then I'm just gonna take my chicken thighs and I'm gonna put them skin side down into the pan. What this is gonna do is create that really beautiful sear on the outside of the chicken. And not only is it gonna look good, but it's gonna kind of lock in all that moisture. I am using a combination of what I had on hand, but I really love this because it's like so reminiscent of harvest season. So while we're talking about uh, the Wenty Vineyards, we're, again, we're using the Reaver Ranch Chardonnay. I love this Chardonnay. It's really full-bodied, and there's a great balance of acidity and also like the, the roundness of the flavors of the fruit, so it complements the grapes in here, but it stands up to the chicken, and it can be drank alone. So you can kind of put it in the dish, you can drink it while you're cooking, I absolutely love it. So I have grapes here. Again, you can use red grapes, you can use green grapes, whatever you have. Um, I have olives, I just have some green olives that I've pitted. Again, you could use palmata olives, you can use black olives, you can use whatever you have, but you've got the sweet from the grapes, and the salty from the olives. So you're trying to think of all the different combinations. And then I'm using thyme, because I think thyme and chicken are like this natural couple. So I'm gonna let this sear up, and it's gonna get nice and golden brown, and then I'm gonna add these to the pan. So our chicken, I think, is seared. We're gonna check it out. I've got, let's see. Woo! Exactly what we're looking for. I don't wanna drip everywhere, but we're looking for that golden brown chicken skin. That's exactly what we want. And then to the pan, I'm gonna add my grapes. Actually, you can just add them whole like this because the stem is naturally gonna fall off when it cooks. And then I'm going to use a handful of olives. So again, if you don't like olives, don't use them. I'm not even gonna cut them. I'm just gonna toss them in my pan. And then I'm gonna put some thyme. So again, I'm not gonna worry about taking it off the stem. I'm just gonna take a whole thing of thyme and break apart the branches. And then I'm gonna use some butter. So the butter and the wine is gonna create this beautiful pan sauce in the pan, in the oven, so you can eat it with the chicken whenever it's ready. And I'm gonna put, usually my school of thought is a tablespoon of butter per person. So kind of use that in your mind when you're, when you're um, serving your guests. And then again, I'm using our Wenti Vineyards Riva Ranch Chardonnay. I always say you want to cook with something that you drink, but I think particularly for this, um, not only is it going to add like a complexity to the dish itself, but it's going to leave that natural pairing. So I like to say, again, I'm not measuring anything, like what one glass would be. So say you're pouring a glass for a friend or for yourself, that's kind of what you're thinking for the pan. The pan is a friend. Then this is gonna go in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's gonna get really golden brown and delicious and juicy. And that sauce is gonna have like this nice silky texture to it. And we're gonna serve it with our wines. Take a look at this beautiful chicken. You guys will see, let me hold it up for you guys. It is got, whoa, this like really delicious, buttery, winey sauce. So you wanna have like a big baguette. Um, with you while you eat this. And we're pairing it with the Wenty Vineyards Riva Ranch Chardonnay. This is like a full body, beautiful, balanced Chardonnay. It's got the slight like, oakiness. It is robust enough to stand up to the chicken and the grapes, but the kind of the hint of the fruit from the wine also complements the grapes. And it's just like an all around fabulous fall dish. And it's perfect. And so what I wanna do is encourage you guys to try this recipe, drink this wine, and join us next time.